We are going to talk about a movie. This is gonna be a disaster. It was one of the best movies of the year. It's gonna um, go so well. This Probably one of the last movies I would ever want to see in a theater. What is going on, everybody? Taylor here, and today we are going to be talking Mandalorian. Jacob, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 pumped to talk about? This I am. This week? I am pumped about this one. Uh, episode four. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, yeah. Nick. Taylor. Jacob. How about you? Yeah, I'm I'm keen as. I think it was a nice little, we'll get into it soon, but a nice little departure from what we've seen already. Yeah. So yeah. It, it is. This week, I think we really got um, to mix up a little bit in terms of the formula that we've gotten used to over the past couple of episodes. Yeah. Um, I do first want to start this off by saying we got our second female director. Yes, we did. Mm. Twice in a row. We got two of them now, Mm. which is like, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's really exciting. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. The lovely Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. uh, I, I really liked the directing of this episode. I thought she did a really good job. Mm. Um, I don't think though, like I thought she did a really great job. I think she did too. I think she did a great job um, just in general, but it looked like it belonged with the other episodes. Yeah. It wasn't anything too flashy or trying to stand out or Mm. anything like, which I think you need on a show yeah, like you, this. You it, want the cohesion and you want it to look good. And I thought it looked really good. So did I. I thoroughly, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, and I think I think a shot we will talk about later with a certain mechanical yes. vehicle. <laughs> it, it, it's little things like that that she, obviously adding her little spice in there as well. Yeah. This one had elements of more necessarily a horror or a thriller sort of element bit, that I think yeah. she brought into into the fold really well with exactly like you said, making it still feel like an episode of the Mandalorian, which has already felt different to star Wars, yeah. I know. which Ugh. still feels like star Wars. So they, they balance it so well, but we, yeah, I well, thought she did a great job of this episode. We will definitely dive a little bit more into that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, first we gotta, we gotta do this. It's obligatory has to happen. Every single episode, baby Yoda made baby me want to cry. He's just <laughs> so cute. Every time it the fl- the camera just flashes <laughs> to baby Yoda. I'm just like the, every cutaway. It's, uh, oh, you can't it's so cute. Laugh. And oh my God. it's consistently like, funny. There was probably is. three visual cutaway gags of baby Yoda in this episode. Yo. And we all laughed at every Yo. single we're sucked in. Yeah. They it got gets us. me every time. I think we should start a religion for baby. Yoda. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know, when they do a census and like, yeah. what religion are you? And someone's like, got like Jedi knights. I'm like, mm, mm. no, we're baby. No, Yoda. we're, we're we got to praise make the Yoda. Up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. But God. he's adorable. They, man. Honestly, though, like they struck gold, whoever came up with that idea. They did. And whether we want to believe the rumor or not that <laughs> a certain someone talked to them out of yeah, cowardly well, using CGI. CGI yeah. 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 I mean, look, I do just want to mention that. Yeah. We heard this week that, you know, allegedly, um, they were convinced to buy uh, Werner Herzog to not use CGI, you cowards. Um, it is the baby Yoda. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. I'm <laughs> accent each week gets worse. All I want to do is imitate Werner Herzog and I can't do it, but I, I'm going to, God damn, I'm going to try every single week. But honestly though, if that's actually true, it's great. But if the quote is actually like the way like, he said it, where he's like, leave it, read some you of cowards, shit, Werner, leave it. <laughs> you read like, some of the stuff he's if he looked at John Favreau Bro. in the eye and said, you coward, leave it. <laughs> That is my favorite thing I've it's, ever heard. Like, I, I can believe, believe it. it. I believe it. I'm you know, I'm a hundred percent on that. But he's right though. It, that it's character funny, but he's right. Yeah, that oh, character God, yeah. doesn't work if it's CG. It, it, it no. just wouldn't. It wouldn't be the same. It's, well, it's it's got that it, it, the practical effect of it actually like walking because CGIing that little baby walking will look like an animate like yeah. an yeah. animated thing yeah. whereas we got like the little bit of the clunkiness especially yeah. when we got like his little penguin waddle going yeah. on and he's, and he's like you know a foot tall next to the like <laughs> seven foot tall mandalorian yeah. the visual gag of it is it's amazing so good. it's so good i just yeah it I, feels I don't star think, wars in the best possible yeah. way and i just don't think a cgo one would have worked anywhere near as well it wouldn't have had that connection and you know I, I think just, you can tell through the interactions because he, yeah. the Mandalorian actually holds Baby Yoda a lot in this yeah. episode yeah. as well. And you can you can tell the physical. Well, right, because thing there if you're, the, there's definitely no matter how good of an actor or actress yeah. you are, 
if you're not actually holding something, it's yeah. always going to look different. Weird. Like it's and just not going to be. Yeah. Like you're not holding like a bunch of tennis balls. They're going to see giant right later, but you're also not holding, you know, a little fake American yeah. sniper baby. So they've made a real well, good little, little I mean, midway. They've, yeah. they've compromised well. Yes. The cowards. <laughs> Uh, but but now that now that we've thrown in our obligatory baby just Yoda. moment of praising the baby Yoda because it has to happen every it's single time. It's actually what it is. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> it's what a, it's it is. It's a religion. Yeah. But um, but let's let's just kind of jump into. It. I want to hear what stuck out to you most in this episode. When you think this episode, what was your favorite thing? I mean, I think we're all going to go to the same spot, um, possibly. But my the the thing that I will never forget from this episode is they made the nat- an ATST look terrifying yeah that thing was terrifying the, the big hunks of junk that usually yep. people just kind of laugh at because they're so clunky and yeah. they're not actually intimidating and the, e- and the yeah. ewoks destroyed like, them like that with and, sticks and yeah, rocks like yeah, yeah. Sticks, <laughs> rocks, <a bit> of <laughs> they've never felt intimidating the, the, until the, this the, moment and, and not even just the look of it but the way that bryce dallas howard chose to use the shot introducing it the into the episode it was. reminded me. It reminded me of a monster movie. Yeah. It was. It was the eyes. The, it's. It's red eyes flash. It rises if, in the tree line to be you know twenty foot tall, yeah. and it was intimidating as hell. Yeah. And it didn't fire straight away. No. That's the thing. It was yeah. just like, oh no, I can kill you. Yeah. I can a hundred percent kill you right now. And it was awesome. I yeah that that absolutely stuck out for me i really loved how they handled the atsd i thought that was something that we haven't seen in a live action star wars ever like Mm. we haven't seen it handled that way Mm. where we've we've seen it really from the point of view of two people looking up going oh we messed up right and 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 we've We've seen it, like you said, start from a crouching position. Yeah, that's we've seen it yeah. rise up yeah. and turn into yeah. this just towering. And that was the coolest thing. part. As and it's all a testament to Bryce Dallas Howard for yeah. that for, for taking the decision to. That's the horror element, yeah. I guess. Is that not scary? We got a sense of scale for the yeah. first time yeah. ever. Like yeah. We, yeah. we've never had that sense of scale, even with the um eighty eighty eighties, which we can't simply because of back in the day, like they just with weren't. stop motion. It, it, uh, yeah, like you weren't going to get that, yeah. but. Here we've we've finally got the the sense of just pure scale the, of how monstrous these things can yeah. be. The only time we've ever gotten anything close to this regarding these this kind of machinery has been in Rogue One. Yes, that's the, the only yeah. other time we really yeah, got to agreed. see the scale and the horrifying element of what these and, can actually. And be. even still in Rogue One, it was used. It was like a tank in a yeah, war film. Exactly. So you don't feel exactly. the, the threat of it. It's mm. just, you just know it's, it can kill you and it yeah. probably will. Whereas this one, it's, it's that terror element that really sold it's, it. It's like a chase scene in yeah. the middle of the night. And, like you just, And not revealing it in the opening scene. We see the opening yeah. scene of these raiders. Cause obviously in the episode, we, the Mandalorian finds a planet to, to chill out on for a bit before he gets killed. Well, you know, yeah. people try and come kill him. Um, and we see an attack on the farmers, but we don't see the yeah. ATST. And no. because initially I was like, the big blast coming out, I was like, oh, we're going to see something sick. And then it's just raiders come out. And I was like, the blasts are pretty big for those guns. Yeah. Like, what are they going to... And that's cool, the way they decide to reveal it later on. Yeah, I, that, I really agree. well done. That was, that was some good restraint used at the beginning of that episode for a really good payoff. Yep. Um, a moment that I want to talk about. It's a bit of a quieter moment, but it's something that I just kind of appreciated in terms of world building. Mm. Um, when he first gets to this planet and interacts with people for the first time. Yeah. And he's sitting there with little baby Yoda <laughs> and the lovely waitress, I yeah, guess, if I, you want to call her. I don't yeah. really know what you would call that other than that. Yep. She comes up, she's greeting them, taking their order, whatever, just being super nice. He just starts throwing out money yeah. because that's the kind of culture that he's yeah. used to dealing with. And she's just that's- like... Wow. Oh my god! Like, well, uh, I liked I liked the way that she was basically kind of like ignoring what he was actually that, asking. Well, that, his but, intention but was I, but information. I don't, think, yeah. I don't think she was ignoring it. No, yeah, I think that she did, just well, didn't yeah. understand, which is yeah. my yeah. point. She she doesn't live in a society where that means what it means it, to him. Yeah. And because of the order of the conversation was great too, because he orders the bone broth for Yoda, asks about Gina Carano's character, then throws the money, intending on getting information yeah. back, and she's yeah. like. 
no one's ever paid this much for bone broth before. <laughs> like this is incredible. Like, like, and my just, chips are amazing. Yeah. It was such Which a cool, cool. It was yeah. such a cool little moment because it's it's a clever way to introduce you to the kind of world that he's come mm. to yep. without having to do all kinds of exposition and all kinds. Because now of he's like, the fish out of water. Yeah, there. that's like he is obviously the most abstract part of that. Um, yes, I, I completely agree. I thought the the way that you really got to understand this world really quickly. Yes. Like you knew exactly where you were like that. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I also think that the, <laughs> the best part of Gina Crono in this episode, I think we can all agree <laughs> yeah. is the, her skills. The fight scene. Her yeah. sick. skills yeah. were so good. Like those punches were heavy. Oh, they there were was, there was a punches. moment where she throws him to the ground and I was like, oh, I love when movies oh. and shows do that because that's always so brutal when someone gets punched or thrown and they land like head first <laughs> yeah. and the body sort of like fishtails yep. after. It always feels brutal. Like yep. no matter who it happens to and the Mandalorian gets his ass He's laid out. To them he this gets time. laid yeah. out, man. Yeah, I, and we get to actually see, hey, Mandalorian's not best person in the world like no not, not the greatest like they're not they, super yeah, assassins he's, no they're, not, they're just they're, he's they're just, a guild of, of bounty hunters doing you know yeah we got to see how good and we actually got you know we got the endor mention which i liked. that was cool like, i like know, that like, yeah. you know hey oh i fought on endor and it's like oh my god that's it's super okay, sick we're, yeah we're slowly getting that stuff which i really like that they're world building, yeah. but at the same time, they're, they're like they're not restricting the universe. They're building it out and giving us characters who, yeah, probably was on Endor. Yeah, glad she was. Cool. Yeah, and with yeah. Gina Carano as well. Like, and and I don't think she's a bad bad actress. I think some of the lines she was fed in this episode, she had a lot of expert uh, exposition lines, which she didn't sell a lot. So it was kind of unfortunate that her character was obviously there. I hope she comes back. In later episodes, yeah. they made it feel like it was a departure, like it was a one-off. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I'd like to see more of her built up a bit we, more. We, we might get to that a bit later when we get to, make, not criticisms, but more yeah. just the structure of this series so far is really yeah. hard to get a grasp on what yes. it exactly and I, is. I personally think that this first season of this show is is that you're getting introduced to these characters and this world and you're getting familiar with it. And then yeah. in season two, I think you're going to start to get some yeah. things really tie together a little bit more. Um, I mean, obviously I don't know, yeah. but I no, feel like that's what we're going to get is this. And which makes sense. That's where I'm starting to lean, especially after this episode where we were very much given, no, this is a standalone yes. episode. There is, it doesn't really connect to everything else other than the ending. Um, yeah. Like it's, it's very much a, we're getting kind of, this is where the Western is really coming. Like I, I got yeah. a, I got a Magnificent Seven vibe from yeah. this. Um, obviously Magnificent Two though. And <laughs> just, yes. you know, yeah, Baby Yoda did nothing. God, no. I know. What a freaking Where's that force power at yeah, now? Come yeah, come on. Just Jeez. Um, bring the ATSC should, down. I, I, actually, not going to lie. I thought I thought, that was, <laughs> I thought I thought when they said we need to bring it in, I was like, he's going to he's gonna use the force. Oh, well, no, it's no, when their plan goes wrong, yeah, when exactly. the ATSC doesn't step into <laughs> yeah. their trap. And I was like, Yoda, oh, do something. Baby Yoda, do I'm something. I'm not going to lie. Every time he's not on screen, I'm like, where the fuck is he? Someone better not be doing anything to Baby Yoda, I swear Who's watching the children? Cowards. But something else i wanted to bring up just because there's a lot of small stuff in this episode that i really noticed and really appreciated i love where mando as we're you know affectionately yeah. referring to him now he has a conversation with the lovely woman yes and she asks about taking the helmet off and we get the tease that yeah. he's taken it off that was but yeah. we don't see any i like that moment. i really so did good um and especially as someone who's not very well versed in the Mandalorian lore. Like I'm not. Mm. I've I've never really dug into Mandalorian lore. So yeah, and well, neither of us have. Yeah. But the show's doing a pretty good job of, of catching you say. up. Oh, absolutely, it's, it's giving you the necessary bits you need to know about the mm. Mandalorians and the guild and sort of how they treat. Because we find yeah. out obviously that Mando was after he was orphaned, which we kind of get that vibe in earlier episodes. Yeah, that he's brought in by the guild and he's trained by the guild and. And then, yeah, and that's... And uh, that's why he, he dedicates his life to them, yeah. Yeah, and so knowing, oh, okay, he can take the helmet off. It's mm. just, it can only be... It's a code. It's it's, a, yeah, yeah. It, it can only be after... like Because last week I said, by the end of this series, we're getting him without his helmet off because that's just storytelling. But 
Okay, he can take it off, but it can't be in front of anyone. He can't it reveal to, himself yeah, to it, others. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And now I'm, okay, we're, we're learning more and more now. And because he like says that. the line, he's like, once it, he's like, I can take it off, but I can't put it back on. Yeah. It's people know who I am and as a Mandalorian, then yeah. that's the code, bro. I'm no longer a Mandalorian. Yeah, I, I did. I really liked that we are getting deeper and deeper into his mm. the, into the mythology of Mandalorian. Yeah. Something that I think this show is going to continue to do because, like we said, we're not really sure where the overarching story for the rest of this season is going to go because this episode is very different from yep. the first ones that we got because those all kind of felt connected mm. as one. This one's a little different, but I do think despite where the arc of the actual story is going to go, I think these episodes are going to give us a lot of really good character insight. Yeah. We're going to get to know him a lot better, his world as a Mandalorian a lot better. Uh, I think we're just going to get to know the galaxy overall a lot better. We're going to get to see these civilizations and these planets and all these places we've never seen before. And to me, that's so interesting. Yeah. That's so cool that as a Star Wars fan, we're going to get to see a lot of that stuff that you normally wouldn't get to see because movies just don't have time no, to no. give you that kind of no, stuff. No, that's it. Yeah. Like if we, if this was a Star Wars movie and that was, you know, we get two and a bit hours of that 40 minutes was already taken up just explaining yeah. the tiny bit we got today. Like how yeah. much more can you fit in the next 80 minutes? That's going to yeah, cover that an entire lore of this guild. So yeah. I look uh, one other last thing I do just want to mention um, I think uh, the moment they gave you a nearly heart attack is when he <laughs> is when we actually I, what I'm curious is how are they tracking Yoda yeah that's yeah. the big yeah well because he's not in his but, little yeah so it, pram was, it wasn't it wasn't the pram it's Yoda so yeah. they're tracking him somehow and they nearly and Nearly, nearly killed baby Yoda. I literally he was in the sights. He was in the sniper sights. Literally, size. almost destroyed our TV. I almost had to chuck something right. Do you want at to know it. something? For a split second, I was like, "Would they do it?" There was a half a second where I was I, like, "Yeah." I'm, but then I was like, ah, "I feel like being like you know how much how revered he is and thing, loved." But here's the here. This is why I'm starting to think maybe there is a chance that he is not in the end of this season. Is mm-hmm. there is no merchandise? They were not prepared. For Do they, how popular they just announced they're releasing some they've got and apparently it looks yeah, no, it's, yeah it's just the con, it's well, the concept i don't art on i don't think that's the reason though no, i think yeah. like you said they just wanted to keep it such a secret, secret that even yeah. putting yes. any merchandise no, plans yeah. out there would have been but i think that's what's in the back of my mind i'm going yeah. no disney didn't think this was going to be big so no <laughs> disney's not that stupid <laughs> no, they know. they they saw the craze with the porgs yeah they saw the craze with bba yeah, true, they're true, not yeah. they're not dumb they yeah. they know but i genuinely there was a split second where I went, oh, dude, like this baby Yoda's head's about to go flying. There was a second, I think, where Jacob was like, oh, God. Oh, like, no, I, I don't. Was, no, there was, a, oh, there, was, there was a second where I went, well, Taylor's never watching this show again. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to take it out on me and I'm yep. going to die. <laughs> so welcome to your new host of The Mandalorian <laughs> after show because Taylor's not going to be watching it. <laughs> I no, was I would genuinely just, thinking every that. Every single week would just be a new like memorial service <laughs> podcast. It would open like, with an in memoriam yeah, to Baby Yoda. Yeah. It would just be Black like the first, the first music. 15 minutes of this, we're just going to talk about Baby Yoda and how sad I am. We know it was four <laughs> episodes ago, but we're just going to talk about The Mandalorian's been on TV for seven seasons now. And, <laughs> and this character that died in the fourth episode <laughs> of season, season one <laughs> will always be in our hearts. <laughs> Even though oh, they replaced God. it with someone who was just as cute. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> but like, we will never forgive you. Uh, they're not topping the cuteness of Baby Yoda. And if they do. Oh, for a long time. If the, yeah. Oh, dude, if they do, we're in so much trouble. Like, <laughs> I don't think I can handle it, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, that all came from the fact that, yeah, he's getting tracked now and one person has found them on this planet that was completely isolated to yeah. a scanner's view. So. Yeah. It'll be interesting. It It'll will be see, really yeah. interesting because for a moment before that happened, I definitely believed that he was going to leave baby Yoda there. So did I. I uh, like that setup too. I like that because it's, it's part of his morality thing yeah. that we got to taste off the last episode. He's not dumb enough to be, well, sorry, not dumb enough, but he's not, uh, you know, unintelligent enough to be like, 
I'm going to take this kid. Like I saved the kid, therefore yeah. it's mine. He's like, no, I saved the kid. The kid needs something that it's I it. can't yeah. give him. And it is this well, wonderful what, farm and place. And that's kind of where I was like, okay, so that's the end of this chapter. And then the next yeah. chapter starts. And do they still uh, keep yeah. chasing him? Do they chase? Yeah. yeah. I thought, okay, maybe, maybe that's where we're, we're, the show is going. And cause it, I think the the fact that we have absolutely no idea where this show is going is yeah. kind of making me what question a lot of things while watching it, mm. and then I think it does its job. Though, oh, absolutely! Because yeah. y- you are hard to like <laughs> hide Trick, things yeah. from. Like usually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, usually you know exactly yeah. what's going on. But so. is it, this is what I said last week as well. It's the same deal with. Watchmen at the moment. I I tried to get uh, watch it again. I tried yeah. to watch the last episode I missed, and then this, and I'm just like, this show sucks. Like, I, if you like it, you like it. I just love you, you know are it. literally the first person. I, I fucking hate Watchmen. <laughs> it is the worst thing HBO's produced in years. It makes zero sense. Oh, and I'm not amazing. saying I'm not saying Watchmen, the graphic novel or the movie, <laughs> made a lot of sense, but there was some consistent. <laughs> Tones in the story. I know this isn't the the fucking shit on Watchmen podcast, but that's what I mean. Like the fact that that Star Wars, that the Mandalorian is doing a similar thing story wise. They're not giving away a lot. There is a bit more interconnectivity with with its tones, but the fact that I want to keep going back to it week to week and we're talking about it enough that it gets me excited. So I watched every episode twice, at least I watch it with you guys and I watch it with my partner. And I still want to go back and watch every yeah. episode. So there's something there that they're doing well that is mm. keeping, even though we don't yeah. have a great crazy idea of what's happening. Yeah, yet. and I completely I, agree there. I also thought it was interesting. You made this comment, but we got more dialogue from yeah. Mando in the first yeah. two minutes of this episode. He's a chatterbox this episode. He wouldn't shut up. He yeah, was- <laughs> I, I, I did find that interesting. That I did you, too. Like he's... I have a feeling a lot of that may have been the fact that, hey, he's on a planet. He can't, in this episode especially, he couldn't really be the stoic yeah. hero. I it's think kind of... On on the previous planet he was on, it, he, it's sort of like their way of communicating. Yeah. Like yeah. Th- these, It's the world he lived in, which shows us that he's adaptable at least. And yep. I think he'd have to be to be a bounty hunter anyway. Yeah. So I, I like, it did throw me off a little bit at first. Cause that, and that's why I made the comment. I was like, he's talking a lot. <laughs> You're like, whoa. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Like, and then even in fairness, he still, compared to the conversations he has with people throughout this, oh. a lot of people are talking a lot more than he oh, is. Yeah, so definitely. they definitely yeah. sh- juxtapose it well. Mm, yeah. And what he's saying is understandable like it, there's it's, no weight it's not just wasted no dialogue. it's even though we get more dialogue from him it's all very purposeful still yeah. like everything he's saying matters yeah. um he's not talking just to just to talk but i mean i loved this episode that was I, a really it, good episode. I, it's very good it, and it's once again it just went by so fast yeah what's well, the longest like, episode? we got a 41 the, yeah, minute episode so, now and um, it was it flew by. We, yeah, I, was, I couldn't believe it was the end of it. I was like, whoa, oh, we're at the end. Oh, okay. Alrighty, and because I've been what, like, and well, we were talking about this as well that we've been accustomed to network ad breaks and, yeah. and three story, uh, so three arcs, uh, yeah. three story acts in episodes. Uh, and then one thing I was mentioning is that we really only in four episodes have followed the Mandalorian. Yeah. There's no spin off side characters that have their own adventures and stories mm. going on everything in the show is directly related to the actions that the Mandalorian has to take. So we are following one person through four episodes. So I guess they have a little bit more to play with. We're not feeling like, oh, this scene's a bit slow. We don't like this character, so I'm going to tune out. It's kind of, it's not like the Game of Thrones effect where, hey, yeah. we're spend, we're going to go to 10 characters in, in a single in, in episode. one episode. Yeah. So you're going to get six minutes with each character. And if you don't like this one, well, there's six minutes you can switch off. Yeah, and exactly. Like, like, yeah. We're not getting that, which is good. I I think it's great. I I think it's great because they've made it exciting. Yeah. Mm. We have this one character that we're following through all of these episodes. He's not necessarily someone that I guess conventionally works on TV these days because he doesn't talk no. a lot. You don't see his, his face. face. Like yeah. it's very very motion driven mm. body language. Very like. It's just, it's a whole different vibe. Yeah. Like you said, mm. to what we're used to for yeah. so many different reasons. It's just the streaming. It's streaming yeah. don't have to follow the rules. No. And that's kind of cool. It's, I, like I think it. it's a very good evolution of television. And, and, and I like the see. fact that we are seeing that more where they're just like, yeah. no, we're, not, we're just going to do what we well, want. Well, speaking and of that, we, we've had this conversation where I think the best thing 
one of the best things that they chose to do with this show was they drop it weekly weekly yeah I agree. Uh, because the binge effect. This would effect, be the most bingeable show. You would easily, go. But oh, you would absolutely. lose so much. I agree. Yeah. You would lose so much. F- like, absolutely. If, if, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And also, we would have moved on to the next thing. Yeah. Like by now, we're four yeah. weeks in. Like, realistically, we're four weeks in. Yeah, we'd be talking about whatever Disney Plus is trying to drop next. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. you know, we'd be going, oh, what's... Like, we'd be talking about Watchmen, maybe. You yeah. Because you know, you know, like, we would finally be watching it. Probably. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But, but it's... It's doing wonders for the conversation around it yeah. because with the way that the world is now, if you can binge something, you can never have to talk about it again because mm. the next thing is what people are talking about. But if yeah. you drop it weekly, it just it comes back into the conversation. Yeah. I, it, yeah. I do feel this the binge model is most likely going to change sometime in the next twelve months. It, At yeah. least for like, new shows. If for, yeah. I have a I just have a feeling going forward that this might have set a new precedent of no, let's mm. just go back to weekly because yeah. it's, I think that I think a few people test the waters of it first because yeah. there's definitely things that are worth yeah. binging. You know, yeah. you got, you got your shit like, like big mouth on Netflix. Uh, it's yeah. episode to episode. It's animated. It's easy I, to watch 10 episodes. Think, of that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I dramas, I think, have to I be think weekly. have to be weekly. Yeah, well, I think they will go and to my weekly. biggest example is we still haven't watched stranger things no. because of the mammoth we, that it yeah, is like we haven't know. watched the newest season because ever since it dropped we've just been like that's but there's heaps of shows like we like, haven't watched because of that but that and one is yeah. my biggest example yeah. because i binged the first two seasons yeah. so that i could be caught up for season for three. season three when it dropped and then because it all just dropped i think you said this before because it's like yeah it's just there now like i can watch it when i yep. want and it's all there i don't yeah. have and we to just be. haven't done it because then you have to carve out the time for all of those episodes and then people stop talking about it two yeah. weeks later it was huge for two yeah. weeks yep. and now and now it's like if i watched it now who would be talking about it yeah. for no me one. to talk about it exactly with? so it's, content, it's really content, interesting content. take it's, it all it's in really interesting I, and you know i mean the best example we're gonna have is in two weeks when the witcher drops yeah yeah we got, we got i don't know how I think ten, it's ten, 10 episodes 10 episodes yeah. of the witcher That'll be big for a week. So keen for that. So am I. I look, but I am so excited for that show. I am really That is dropping really in the middle of a huge time. It is. For, yeah, like. not, but not only that, it's dropping not only in the middle of December. We'll have two episodes left of Mandalorian. Yep. What are people more going to be talking about on when the second when that last episode of Mandalorian drops? Are they still going to be talking about Witcher? Nah. Probably not. Yeah. No. Or are they going to be talking about the fact that Mandalorian just finished? Oh my God, how great was that? Yeah. Instead or, of, oh my God, what the hell was that cliffhanger? Yeah, what the like, fuck? Like, know, yeah. like, that's what, like, what they killed you? Baby Yoda. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Can you imagine the Witcher drops and then yeah. all anyone's talking about is that Baby, <laughs> baby Yoda, Yoda died? Said, yeah. Well, you know, because it will drop the same time. Oh my God. Disney with that big it? dick energy, dude. Yeah, just because you know, you know, Witcher drop will drop the same time as an episode of. Of Mandalorian, yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah. So they'll drop it the same. Oh, and I'm 100 percent watching Mando first. Oh, yeah, but like, can you imagine if they drop an episode and it's like, like one of the biggest episodes where like Baby Yoda dies or something Dude. happens and it just completely Disney know kills. what they're doing, man. Disney. <laughs> Uh, but the, I mean, the witch is gonna stay on my list for like four <laughs> months, dude. It that's yeah. gonna get added to my list and stay there like Stranger yeah. Things has, yep. and I'm gonna yeah. hopefully eventually uh, get to it at some point. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's just interesting to you talk about. You bring up a good point. I think it's a very valid point. I think yeah, there's definitely waters to be tested here. Yeah. Um, backtracking, I guess, going back to weekly, like you know how we yeah. usually watch, used to watch shows. I mean, don't we like shows like. Like Rick and Morty right now. Yeah. I would kind of prefer if they dropped that all at once. Yes. Like I, that would be, that's a show where you can. In fairness, kind of, the, yeah. so I've watched all three episodes that have come out. You could binge it. There's yeah, no, there's less of a, compared to the other seasons, less of an overarching. Yeah. So they're all very but episodic. That's, but, but that's what I'm getting at in like, mm. I think there are types of shows that should yeah. probably be released all at once. Just smash it out. Yeah. Because you will get a big audience yeah. that way. You know, Bojack Horseman, Big Mouth, like you said. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Rick and shows. Morty. Rick and I Morty's is definitely one. one of them, yeah. yeah. I, I think Archer would have been another one as well. Yeah. Um, I agree. Like those sort of shows where you just drop them we, all. We, I would have preferred when when we had the new episodes of Archer dropping. Yeah. I would have preferred to just, just do that to all just at smash once. Them like all those yeah. weren't to yeah. me. That wasn't a weekly like. No. Yeah. Whereas in you know a show like 
The Witcher, yeah, Mandalorian. I put the Crown things. in there. Yeah, the, the, cr- yeah, the Crown I is huge watch, at the moment. I Everyone's would watch talking. The yeah. Crown, and, if it was and, weekly, because yeah. it's not the yeah, it's not the daunting task of then being like, I'm, I don't have time to yeah. watch ten episodes of this. Like, I yeah. mean, people are struggling to watch a three and a half hour episode, of, uh, a three and a half hour movie. Yeah. Let yeah. alone 10 episodes yeah. of a TV I'd be interested. Series. I know Netflix never released their numbers, and I know we're talking definitely nothing about oh, The Mandalorian yeah, no, right I, now. Yeah. But um, I'd be very interested to see how many people have watched The Irishman on Netflix, considering all the chat about it. I'd, yeah. Is it going to be like another Roma, which was just there for a week and sort of then yeah. backed in the algorithm? So be interesting. It will be. But uh, one last criticism, just to actually bring this back to the thing we're talking about. Welcome to the Baby Yoda yes. Appreciation Show. Oh, no, yeah. but, okay, <laughs> just, I, I do want to just give one criticism to the show, and I don't think it's the show's fault. I think it's got the same problem that Game of Thrones had, um, that streaming is not the best for dark scenes. Uh, right, there yeah. were moments in here where it was a little difficult to see. I just think that one, that could be a combination of my internet, which is absolutely horrendous, <laughs> and two... Streaming's not the best for blacks. I'm going to say the exact same thing to you. I said when we watched Game of Thrones and you mm. complained about this, I think you're crazy. Fair enough. Because it doesn't bother me. Yeah, and, so, and that's to me... <laughs> I No, in fairness, I thought about it as well, especially during their... their um, their camp raid scene, yeah. which is it, you could see and it looked cool, but there was the, I, I know the episode, it everyone was, knows the episode of Game of Thrones yeah. talking about. Yeah, it's the same, same vibe. And that's where I'm like, I will love to see this in a 4K release. Like if they ever, if God forbid, they actually give us a physical so release of this show. I had, we've been thinking the same thing. <laughs> Half of the episode, I was like, dude, I would watch this. Like I would buy the steel book yep, 4K I, in a oh, heartbeat oh, of this yeah. just yes. to see it in 4K. Exactly. Like, and that's the, type so of, that's the type of thing that, Hard it seems copy, like, yeah. uncompressed 4K. And oh. that's, uh, I would, I hope they do that. I, I hope they do too, they because will, the money that they put into the production value of this yeah. show just generally and is. I'm, yeah, and yeah. I'd like to be able to see every single frame, not slightly blurry. Yeah. But yeah, that's just me. You're crazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure most of the people watching this will agree with you, but I'm just like, meh. It doesn't I, bother, I, it doesn't I'm a little me. purist when it comes so like, to those like, things. So like I said, it didn't why, ruin those moments. It, I, I enjoyed the episode. I like I really enjoyed the episode. I really enjoyed the fight scene. I just to me, I just would have liked it. It was just a little too dark, but that's not the cinematographer's fault, and that's not Bryce Dallas Howard's fault. No, no. that's the natural way that is going to happen when you stream stuff mm. and you compress everything so that it is streamable. Yeah. That is just naturally So millions of people can watch it exactly. at the same yeah. time. And yeah. like that's just how it's going to happen, you know, and I get it. And and it makes it makes Because here's the crazy work. part. I think if you watch that on your phone, it'd look pretty good. You can turn Probably. that brightness up on your phone, it would actually look pretty good. And I, and I think a few people will a fair few people will be watching it like that as well. So yeah. anyway. but hey. <laughs> I'm getting death stares of how crazy I am. So uh, let's move this one on. <laughs> Release the 4K cut. <laughs> Release the Favreau cut. Oh. All right, I changed my mind. That's the opener now. <laughs> That's the beginning of the episode now. Oh, man. Hashtag release the Favreau cut. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh, you can, boy, you we are going to wrap this up. up before 4 we are going to wrap morning. this up before this goes more off the rails because two of us have been up <laughs> since 3.30 watching football. Yeah. And, uh, and I got up at 4 for work. And so. you got up at 4 <laughs> for work. So. And have a nap. So, I mean. I need a baby Yoda 4 snap at this, <laughs> this point in time. Yeah. Hashtag same. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't give me that I'm... look when you just ranted about 4K and compression <laughs> for three minutes. <laughs> Oh, this one went right <laughs> off the rails. I just went, hey, oh, nice track on the, a nice train on the track. If you, and chuck, f- if you chuck show notes in there, we're just going to have 4K streaming, complaining, <laughs> Watchmen's shit. <laughs> oh. And everyone's like, this is about the Mandalorian, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the watch 10 it. minute conversation about Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's, yeah. laughs> Direct competition <laughs> to the streaming service we're watching it on. Oh man, I just you know have I'm so glad I'm one. so glad so glad that I have my two lovely guests here <laughs> joining me on this show. You know, 
It would be so boring <laughs> without you two. Oh, thank you. It'd be more coherent. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But who wants that <laughs> to be? Uh, I mean, there are too many YouTube sh- review shows out there that, that are that, that are professional yeah. and coherent. <laughs> Come on. Do you know what I love when I'm watching my YouTube reviewers? <laughs> Complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> Do I have to believe what you're saying? No, nah, I'll click on it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, once again, I don't know if you guys haven't seen us talking Mandalorian before. I think I'm going to just default once again to editing Baby Yoda on everyone's face <laughs> yeah, like I did it. last time because yeah. I've lost all control of everything that's going on here. Thank I you guys did. for joining me. It was great. <laughs> Thank you, you for are, having me. You guys Sarah. are the best. Thank you. And uh, with that, all our links are down in the description. If you want to find us yes. on social media, I mostly post exclusively about Baby Yoda these days. So if you're, much. If you're up for that kind of content, <laughs> <laughs> follow me. And I mostly complain about the Oscars. It, that's yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. So, I mean, there's something for everyone. Exactly. Basically. All our Gold Derby links are down in the description. If you want to see what we're talking about for Oscars, there's a whole lot of just shuffling around yep. going on there every mm. single day we've got our patreon link down there we've got our letterbox link down there if you want to see what movies we've been watching lately thank you guys so much for all of your support and we will see you next time